Hi guys, it's uh, Sean the EV bloke here. Um, I just thought I'd do a quick charging video actually because I haven't actually done a charging video yet. So uh, I've just um, connected in at 40%. It's up to 41%. I'm getting 56.4 kilowatts. I think I think it down rates at um, I think it down rates at um, uh, sort of 60% normally. So I should be getting 88 kilowatts. So this is the kind of thing I've been talking about with the charging speeds. I don't know why I'm not getting higher than that, but that's what I'm getting at the moment. So it says 55 minutes to 100%, uh, 55 minutes to 100%. So we'll see how we get on. I'm probably gonna charge to rough, roughly about 80. So we'll see as we go. So I'll check back in in a while and we'll see what we're getting speed wise and um, uh, all that kind of stuff. So speak to you soon. Two thousand years later. Okay, so as you can see, um, it's gone up to forty-four percent, um, fifty-nine point three. So it's increased a bit uh, in terms of charging speed. This is a BP Pulse um, charger, one hundred and fifty kilowatt. So I should get the full maximum, as far as I can see, eighty-eight. The, uh, the temperature is around about fourteen degrees, so it's not that cold. I'm probably not optimum temperature. But nevertheless, not that bad. But it's creeping up, it's going up, and um, so, yeah, I'll report back soon with uh, an update. Okay, so there we go. So, as I say, now look how that's dropped down now. So it's gone to 50%, and it's dropped down from 61.7 kilowatts drawing to down to 46.5 so there seems to be a 50 percent there seems to be a drop off um, but you're still not getting the full charge at um, I'm still not getting the the, the, the full charge even under 50 percent so <laughs> so there we are so that's roughly what we're getting now so it's 49 minutes left charging time left on 51 percent and we're getting 48.8 kilowatts is what we're drawing Okay, so we're up to 75% and we're getting 33.4 uh, kilowatts and it says 32 minutes till fully charged. So I've got probably around about 5% to go till I don't, I, I'm going to be unplugging, but yeah, it's, um, <clears throat> let me know in the comments below what kind of speeds you're getting. Are you seeing the 80, 80 plus kilowatts you should be getting in your vehicle? Um, um, just let us know what kind of speeds are made. Is this typical sort of speeds you're seeing as well? We'd be interested to know. The claimed range, of course, is 88 kilowatts max. Um, I've never seen it in this car yet. Of course, we're in winter, or coming into spring now, I suppose, but um, still coolish. Um, so whether we're just going to be seeing those kind of speeds in the summer, I don't know. I'm attached to a 50, 150 kilowatt charger, so no, there shouldn't be any problems with power power to the car. So the car is somehow throttling or rejecting that high power for some reason. So, uh, but yeah, the car's holding up. And um, I see, <clears throat> just to show you what we mean about the, the cup holders, I mentioned a few times that they don't fit all that well. Um, as you can see, my wife and I, we both like a coffee, and as you can see, that's what you get. They just hang in there and they're just balancing there because you've got that big dip down here on this side. So it needs it needs the same kind of um, uh, little plug. It's got like a little raised section on this side. You kind of need that on both sides, I think, to make it better sort of fitting in there, really. These could have done with being a little bit bigger, I think so. Or adjustable ones, you know, like you see. Either adjustable ones by, by moving them along or all the little catches inside that catch them inside to, you know, hold it in place kind of thing and then you can make it a little bit bigger so that's the only one one of the complaints that I do have but uh, yeah but outside of that we're 60 76 percent now 33.4 and we'll check back in a, in a short while right so we're 77 percent and getting 33.5 it's gone up just slightly um, what would be interesting to see is if just past 80 percent whether that 30 
3% drops. So that's, okay. that's another curve in the uh, in the um, charging speed, or whether it continues to ramp along for a while on that, because the BYD has a blade battery, which means you can, uh, which in actual fact you should be charging them to 100% at least once a week, but you can actually keep them pr pretty much virtually all the time on 100%. It doesn't harm the battery in any way on the BYD, whereas most cars you charge to 80%. And therefore, that higher state of charge, you can actually charge faster. Um, we've seen this in Tesla cars um, that have the same battery pack fitted um, in some of the Teslas in China. Made in China, they're fitted with a with the uh, blade battery. And um, they charge at quite high speeds, up to 100%. In actual fact, the whole curve is faster by interest, but um, yeah. So it'd be interesting to see what happens. So we'll we'll just hang around and see what we can see once it reaches uh, that uh, eighty. Just go over eighty percent and see whether it goes down or, it's, or it maintains. But sort of soon after that, we'll be unplugging and on our way. But I just thought I'd share this little bit of um, the, char the charging curve on the BYD Atto Three design model. So that's the charger. Loads of these around the country, of course. BP Pulse ones. These 150s. I don't know if that's 150 on both sides or whether it's 150 shared. It's probably 150 shared, which would mean you'd obviously get um, you'd obviously get 70, no, 75, yeah, 75 kilowatts um, each side if you have if you have two cars connected, I guess. But um, but yeah. It's looking okay, it's working all right. So we're on 79% now, and uh, just let that focus. And uh, it's 33.5 uh, still, and it says 27 minutes to go until we're fully, to, if we was to fully charge, it would take another 27 minutes. But I'm not gonna be staying here for that long. Um, there we are, so we're on 80% now. So let's just see when it moves from 80% to 81. Let's have a little look and see whether there's any change in the curve. If not, it's probably gonna maybe go to say 90% maybe at that, and then it'll probably start ramping down, I don't know. Um, not sure, but yeah, but it's been a, I think the way you have to look at this car is charging speed is efficiency is very good on this car. Charging speed is never going to be the biggest ultimate winner. Even the fact it charges 88 kilowatts um, is not exactly by today's standards rapid. I mean, mo most cars are charging at 150 or above now. 130 is kind of kind of going on the slower side. So um, whether it's to protect the battery that the BYDs have that sort of charging speed, I don't know. But um, but yeah, so that's where it is now. We should be we should be moving in a minute to eighty one percent. I'm sure. Once that happens, we'll, let's have a look and see if it ramps down or not. But it's on eighty one and it stayed on thirty three point five kilowatts. So not too bad. Uh, sorry, thirty three point five. So it seems to carry on uh, at that speed. At the top end, I mean, if you can be charging at 30 kilowatts, that's actually not too bad. I mean, a lot of a lot of cars would be uh, doing that sort of speed once they get over 80. So perhaps that's where you gain your slight advantage, maybe. Okay, so let's unplug her. We can also have a look at the uh, length of time. So we've been 36 minutes to go from 40 to 81%. So... Um, I think it's meant to do 30 to 80 percent in about 26 minutes so it's obviously either optimally not there temperature wise or my car just isn't reaching them speeds so okay thanks for watching this video then i'll catch you on the next one take care